Hey there, Segudo golfers, Tom Segudo here, and today we're looking at a really easy way to stop rushing your golf swing with my favorite tempo trick. A lot of golfers will try and rush down. There's a strong urge to hit, hit at the ball. And when you do this, you lose the power sources. Now the power sources are your folded arm, your wrists, two really good examples here. They try and hit at, and this happens. The power sources get lost early. See my arms straightening early, the wrists unhinging early. But if I want more speed, I need this to stay folded in, tucked in, and then an explosion of all the power sources through the ball. That means you have to feel the downswing being excruciatingly slow for this to work well. So we'll start with a smooth tempoed swing, and I want you to feel this. Before you hit the ball, go to the top of your backswing, and we're going to do a 10 count back to the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see how slow that was? That's how I want you to feel your downswing in your normal golf swing. Now what happened when I did that 10 count? Power sources were stored. Checking to see if my power sources are stored. Clubs parallel with the ground. Right arm still folded into impact. The slower I go with this, the better I can store that power. The faster, the more I try and rush, the more likely it is you're going to throw away your power sources. So you start off nice and slow. The second thing you'll do is hit a ball with that feeling, just really slow. You can go to the top backswing normal, but then start hitting the brakes. Okay, not concerned with result, just looking at pace. You want to feel that club slowing down. At least the tempo feels really slow. Then, when you hit a shot, I want you to hit the brakes on and then feel an explosion of power out front. So we're going slow, 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 explode. And that explosion is not some sort of just let the club hit the ball type thing. It is a push. So I'm going down, slow, and I'm extending both arms to straight. I'm stopping short. You can see all the speed I got on that shot. That's a tremendous amount of speed. We can hear the explosion off the club face. That's me not thinking about speeding up the downswing at all, but rather creating the most speed I can out here, which comes from slowing down here, hitting the brakes, hitting the brakes. I'm gonna hit a normal shot now, hitting the brakes in my downswing. That was perfect, absolutely perfect. And the sound, whoosh, right on the center of the face. You can't beat it. It's delicious contact with the ball. And I don't feel the downswing speeding up. If anything, if I want to hit it farther, I feel it slowing down. So the slower I can feel it, the farther it goes. That one felt really slow. That was launched. A little bit of a pull, but wow. You mean the ball's getting smaller faster. It's getting smaller faster, it's going out into oblivion. It's going into the distance. And I feel I'm putting the brakes on so hard. Let's go more molasses here. Extra thick molasses. Now what you're seeing is a smooth swing. You're seeing it looks like a really fast, normal swing. It looks like I'm not slowing down my downswing at all. But I'm feeling, when I start going from here down to here, I'm feeling negative 50% speed. I'm feeling like it's molasses falling down a slope. Something you need to avoid is don't try and rush into hitting the ball. Your focus is not to hit the ball. The club's gonna get in the way and send the ball for you. If you have the correct form, it's going to just happen. That's the beauty of this. So what you need to do is focus more on the follow through than actually hitting the ball. If I focus on getting to here with my arms straight, I will have plenty of club head speed, and it doesn't matter how fast or how slow my tempo is. The slowest part is the downswing, and the ball is going farther. Mind blown. Another way you can avoid rushing your downswing is by training with one of these. This is the lag shot. It's a weighted club with a whippy shaft, and it's going to teach you how to never rush your swing again. If I try and rush my swing, the weight of the club kicks down. But if I have the proper tempo, I feel that the weight doesn't kick, but rather the weight kicks down after impact, which is what you want. 
You don't want to throw away the power early. That's actually the feeling of you throwing away power. The club head kicking down, the shaft bending down. For me to get the lag shot to work correctly, I have to feel that the club does not kick downward in the downswing. So that means that's kicked downward after. And that is how I can use the power sources in my swing without a whole lot of effort. I can still hit the ball farther. I'm feeling the downswing even slower and the lag shot's forcing me to hit the brakes here. Because if I want to step on it, it I don't feel, I mean, I can't hit it. I can't, it won't let me. It doesn't want me to make a bad swing. That's right, lag shot. Yeah, you said I rushed that one. It won't let you because you won't be able to hit the ball. You won't feel like you can hit the ball. You'll feel the club kicking in towards your body or out away from your body. You'll feel kicking all over the place, everywhere but the ball when you do it incorrectly. So when I really slow this down and I feel it kicking down after the ball, I can actually get a really nice divot and I feel the release of all the speed through impact. You can get a lag shot. Check out the link in the comments in the description below. I got you a nice discount on that. It's one of my favorite training aids because it doesn't let you screw up. It's like having your own golf instructor along the way. So after I train with the lag shot, I take out my regular club and I want to feel just like I had that lag shot. Whoop, right there. I'm hitting the brakes on and then phew, explosion. Club's kicking down after impact. All right, I rushed my swing a little bit there I didn't feel like it was as crispy. I tried to hit at the ball. We can improve on that. We're better than that. Let it be slower. Let the club explode through impact. Yeah, that's it. That's why we play golf right there. Let's do another one. We got another ball here. Why not? Mm. So it's the good old golfers. You know what to do. Make the downswing slower your golf swing will go faster with a lot less effort. Thanks for tuning in today, and I'll see you in a future episode.